We're calling it the analysis of madness in the Theresa May bonker. Uh, but let's begin here. Theresa May, it's alleged that there's been a murder in Syria. Uh, what does the policeman say? I think we should investigate the facts. Theresa May, I want the murderer killed. Uh, the policeman, I think we should establish if there was a murder, who committed it and why. Theresa May, there has been a murder and I want the murderer punished by death. Uh, policeman, I think we should establish the facts. You say the murder is alleged. Theresa May, there has been a murder and it was a Russian. I want him killed. Uh, my US and EU friends all say it was a Russian. The policeman, under a fair process of law, we should investigate the facts before deciding who may have committed the alleged murder. There should be an investigation and trial. Then we can decide the punishment. Uh, but Theresa May, the facts are there has been a murder committed by a Russian. We don't need a trial. He's a terrorist and we want him killed. Uh, policeman, who is the Russian? Uh, Theresa May, Putin. Yes. I mean, if we conducted investigations in UK on this basis, this would be how it would go. <laughs> I can't comment on that. can't that. comment further. No. no, it's amazing, isn't it? But here we are. Theresa May gathers her national security chiefs, as Tony Blair calls for military action in Syria, without a vote of MPs. Yes. So here's the dictatorship, and here's Tony Blair, the man of death, the crafter of the lies of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And he says, well, it's possible to destroy, uh, draw a distinction between airstrikes and troops on the ground as to whether you need a commons vote. You can launch an attack against another nation state as long as it's by the Air Force. Ah. But if you want to put troops on the ground, that's different. But either way, people are dead. Either way, people are dead. Yeah. Um, it's important that when chemical weapons are used in this way, alleged chemical weapons, of course, uh, and the international community has taken a firm position against it, this is your point over the law, Mike, um, that you have to enforce it. So this man engineers the weapons of mass destruction report, and uh, basically he's now after the same in Syria. But this one got the biscuit. It's from a few days ago, but the Telegraph, the UK-EU response to Russian aggression is good news for our post-Brexit teamwork. And that says it all. What is going on here is theatre because this helps the utter lie of Brexit. Absolutely.